Today we're taking a look at the angle of elevation and an angle of depression. So I have it partially filled out at the top. We just have to, uh, have to identify which is the angle of elevation and which is the angle of depression. Now if you're here, notice for each question, with the line of sight, okay, so here's the line of sight here as the person's looking up. In order to have that angle, you need another side or another ray, so we draw a horizontal. So if I'm looking up at an object, that's the angle of elevation. I'm going to use the E. So there's the angle of elevation. Now if you're standing on a cliff at uh, the top of a building or you're up in a building on the second, third floor, um, and you're looking down, so you spot your friend walking into a building, you're looking down, that's the angle of depression. So you can remember D for down and D for depression. You still, with the line of sight looking down, you still need that horizontal to form the angle. Okay? So looking down. In the picture together, okay, you have your angle of depression, so this person's looking down. You have your angle of elevation. But since you have those two horizontal lines, what's true about every pair or any set? Doesn't matter if you have two, three, four, or five, all horizontal lines are parallel. So if they're parallel and they're cut by the transversal, which is the line of sight, that means these two angles are congruent. So when you're doing these questions, you can form one right triangle right here because we draw a vertical line to form a 90 degree angle. So you can look at this right triangle or you can look at this right triangle. So there's more than one triangle you can look at in each picture. Okay? So let's take a look at question one. Bobby is holding his kite. His kite string four feet above the ground is shown in the diagram. The distance between his hand and a point directly under the kite is 105 feet. A, if the angle of elevation to the kite is 65 degrees, find the height of his kite to the nearest foot. Finding the nearest foot, how much string extends from Bobby's hand to the kite. So we're finding H, which is here, but we also are going to find how much string extends from his hand to the kite, so I'm going to call that S. The picture's there, which is awesome. So out of the notes, I believe three out of the four have a picture provided, and then you have to draw the picture for the last one. So if I'm going to do part A, the angle of elevation is marked. It's 65 degrees. I know, well, first of all, if this distance here is 105, that means this distance here within the triangle is 105 feet. We're looking for H, which goes from where the kite is to the ground. So how am I going to find H, given an angle of elevation and given the 105 feet? Tell me. Tangent. Now, if I do tangent, is tangent, so give me the ratio, tangent of 65 degrees equals, h over 105. Now, if I look at the h, the h goes all the way down. And this triangle, does it go all the way down? No. So I'm not going to use h but I'm going to set it, that unknown, I'm going to write another variable for H. So let's call this part of the triangle, say X. So tangent is opposite over adjacent, so tangent of 65 equals X over 105. Multiply both sides by 105. So 105 times the tangent of 65. So x is equal to 2, 2, 
5.1732267. Now H, if I highlight what I just found in this segment here, I just found from here to here, I need that gap, that missing part for the total height. What is that missing part, Sean? Four feet. It comes from over here. So I just need to add four, and we'll have our final answer. So 229.1732267. Two, two, We're rounding to the nearest foot. So we should, every word problem, answer in a complete sentence, but for our notes today so we can have time for the classwork, our height is approximately, to the nearest foot, 229 feet. All right, part B. Finding the nearest foot, how much string? Again, that's our S. What's the ratio I want to use to find the amount of string? And again, you should really avoid using the value you found for X. So what can we use to find out for the ratio? Kylie? Cosine. So the cosine of 65 degrees is adjacent over hypotenuse. So 105 divided by S. S is equal to 105 divided by the cosine of 65 degrees. So S is going to be approximately, so S is approximately 248 feet. Number two, Adam and Brian are standing some distance apart on the same side of the building, which is 500 or 50 meters tall. From where Adam stands, the angle of elevation to the top of the building is 30 degrees. From where Brian stands, the angle is 60 degrees. What is the distance between Adam and Brian to the nearest tenth of a meter? So if you look again within the picture, within the orange triangle that goes to the 30 degree angle, this bottom side all the way across would be Z. And within the green triangle, the 60 degree angle, um, that bottom side is going to be Y. So to get X, we need to find Z and subtract Y. So with that 30 degree angle, we have given in both triangles, we were given the building of 50 meters. So we're given this side here is 50. We're given the side opposite. So for both of the angles, that's the side opposite, and these sides are both the adjacent. So the O and the A is with tangent. So let's first find Z. So Z would be the tangent of 30 degrees equals 50 over Z. For the green, it's going to be the tangent of 60 degrees equals 50 over Y. As we said in the warm-up and earlier in the notes, Y is equal to 50 divided by the tangent of 60 degrees, and Z is equal to 50 divided by the tangent of 30 degrees. So if you're going to type it in the calculator, you could type in the exact, which would be 50 over the tangent of 30 degrees minus 50 over the tangent of 60 degrees. And what do we get? So the distance is going to be approximately, so the distance is approximately 57.7 .7 meters. So that's how far Brian and Adam are apart standing. Number three, so standing on the gallery of a lighthouse, which is the deck at the top of the lighthouse, a person spots a ship at an angle of depression of 20 degrees. The lighthouse is 28 meters tall, so let's mark that in the picture. It's 
and it sits on a cliff which is 45 meters tall as measured from sea level. What is the horizontal distance to the nearest meter between the lighthouse and the ship? So again, we can look at this triangle here, this distance. This is the horizontal distance. We can call that x. What would be this side of the triangle? So from the top, if I form a triangle here, this total distance, get rid of that, is going to be what for that side of the triangle? 28 and 45 is 73 meters. So 73 meters, angle of depression. So we're up here, angle of depression. You can think of this as our line of sight. We're looking down. Angle of depression is formed by that line of sight in a horizontal. So the 20 degrees is going to be right here. But because this is parallel to this, I'm going to put the 20 degrees here because if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, alternate interior angles are congruent. Now I can use tangent. I have the side opposite over adjacent. So tangent of 20 degrees equals 73 over x. And then when x is in the denominator, that's division. So 73 divided by the tangent of 20 the horizontal distance is approximately to the nearest meter is going to be 201 meters. So go ahead and read and draw your picture for the last one. It can be something simple as a triangle, a right triangle, or you can draw and number four, you have a building. John is watching his friend approach the building while he's standing on the rooftop. All right, so in this question here, here's my building. John watching his friend, and he's standing on the rooftop. So there's John. It says that John's eye level, now the rooftop is 16 meters from the ground. So from here down is 16 meters. And then it says, and John's eye level is about 1.8 meters from the rooftop. So this is 1.8 meters. So here's the ground. Here's John's friend. He's looking down at his friend, so here's his line of sight. Here would be the horizontal. The angle of depression is 40 degrees. Now to form the triangle, what's this side of the triangle going to be? 17.8 meters. If I look at the triangle, I could also look at this triangle if I wanted to. But keeping it here, this is going to be 40 degrees as well. What is the distance to the of a meter between John's friend and the building X? So I have opposite and adjacent, so it's going to be the tangent of 40 degrees equals 17.8 over adjacent X. X is in the denominator, so that's equal to 17.8 divided by the tangent of 40 degrees. So let's get that decimal. We're rounding to the nearest tenth of a meter. So we got 21.2 meters.